Today I'm going to discuss how easy it can be to import custom lists on NetSuite. So let's say you want to customize a form and add a drop down list, but there's hundreds of values within that list. You don't want to waste your time entering them one by one. So what you want to do is to open an Excel document and within this Excel document, you're going to have three columns. The first one is going to be the name of the custom drop down list. So for example, it could be the name of all the stock exchanges in the world. Uh, the second field is going to be the ID of that custom list. So it's going to be the same ID everywhere. And the third field will be the value. So all the names that and all the values within your list. Okay, so once you've got this, what you'll do is you're going to go to NetSuite. You're going to go to Setup. Uh, then go to import export import csv records now my excel is using the french format which is semicolon but maybe yours will be in column so you will need to go to customization in the import type and then custom list right so here on the csv column delimiter maybe you'll be able to keep comma if not, well, choose whatever it is your Excel is using as a delimiter. I'm going to click on select. And I'm going to click on stock exchange names .csv. I'm clicking on next. So I can add, so I can create a new list, so I can update an existing one. For the time being, I'm going to click on add and click on next. So NetSuite should be mapping these fields automatically. So you don't even need to do anything here. Click on next. And then just give that a name just for the sake of it. Right, so that's it. You click on save and run. Then what you'll do is you'll go to import job status just to have a look at what happened there and you will see that it worked perfectly fine. So now if you go to customization, list, records and fields and list again, you should be able to see your stock exchange list and uh, within this you should be all the, see all the values in there. So let's see if it's there. Stock exchange names, here it is. You can see that WebWizard, so myself, is the person who created this and I'm going to click on it and you can see the values hopefully that was within the Excel document. Now if you look at the system note you'll be able to see who did it and how it was done by CSV. So I hope that this was quite helpful to you. If so, don't forget to leave a like or subscribe and see you on the next NetSuite video. Thank you and goodbye.